I got one 43 years old. That's what makes me feel real old. <laughs> Ronnie's, he'll be 43 the 29th. Hell, Gina's 40. I don't know why, but he's six foot six. <laughs> Several times you see uh, uh, Miss Ruth, and she's, she's always sleeping. sleeping and got that one time I tried to, I think she was just pretending to be asleep. I, I, I don't see it. I'm sure she didn't, didn't mean it anything. I reached over and start pulling on the baby, and she said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, She gets, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every time I'm, she says, Are you taking care of my baby? I said, I don't yeah. know what she's talking about if she, because we used to have dogs, you know, she used to have a. She had some chocolate uh, poodles, mm -hmm. small, the small ones. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if she's talking about that as her baby or if she's talking about regular babies or whatever. She, she told me one time she had 19. So yeah. I don't, I said, it's got to yeah. be dogs. Yeah. Maybe I thought she You know, she gets, her mind gets a little yeah. bit. She's, she has dementia. Yeah. things on there all right okay I'd like to call to order the uh, meeting for the Jacksonville Planning Advisory Board for uh, October the 14th 2013 uh, we will stand and be led by the Pledge of Allegiance with Mr. Aki followed by invocation by my, myself <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear God, as we, we come to, uh, to you tonight, it's rather unique. Normally in the past, I always have someone else on the board to, to come to and pray to you for the citizens of Jacksonville and for the town we live in, but it just was laid in my heart that we need to come to you and a special prayer that we just still ask for your guidance. And then I'm so thankful to serve on this committee and, and be a part of it. And they've given me such a, a role as be a, the leader of this, but yet I have great help, and I ask for blessing on each of their lives. I ask for blessings upon this town as we struggle right now, Lord, or people out there hurting, and I just pray a special prayer for them. I know this is so new, unique for a planning board to meet, you know, that we talked about the business of Jacksonville, but we still are made up of a city of people and, and their lives, and there are a lot of people right now who are hurt because of what's going on with our government, and I pray for our government, our officials, that they get past all this bickering and that we can get on with our lives. The people here who need that money, they need those incomes, they need those paychecks to take care of their families and their friends, to support the businesses in this town. 
And so I ask a special blessing upon the city of Jacksonville, the military, and all they do for us. And Lord, we just continue to ask for you to give us guidance as we always tend to the business of Jacksonville that's always in, in for the good of the citizenship here, the good for our city, the good for our, you know, our state and our country. And once again, we just thank you for how you always seem to take care of us and that we just never give up on you, Lord. And just thank you once again. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> thank you for joining us tonight. So I know that was uh, rather uh, different uh, as our normal opening, but uh, I'm glad to be a part of it and glad it was laid upon my heart to do that. And um, I felt like it was just needed. You know, we have a lot going on in this city. A lot of people hurting. I see it in my practice, you know, that people have changed schedules to come in and have their needs met, you know, medically, dentally, or whatever. But, you know, we're going through a hard time, and I hope the city of Jackson, the people here, we're a strong people. You know, we reach out, and we have a, such a unique responsibility to each other and to the military families, and that's, those people look around outside your normal homes, and, and if someone needs needs or hurting, or they need, to, they need some food, or they need something just to get by while our government is playing these games with people's lives, you know, and it's not about the party, it comes down to people. And I just hope that we'll reach out and, and we'll just ha walk with our heads high just in the city, because we live in a great city here in Jacksonville. It's unique, and we have our own set of problems, just like any city, but it's just a great place to be, and I, I truly believe that with all my heart. So um, last month we weren't here. We didn't have a meeting, and so we, we got a month off, you know, kind of a, a breather there. So, uh, but we're here tonight, and we have a couple things to talk about, and we're thank you if you're uh, very thankful if you're viewing us as an audience. And uh, once again, keep continue to give us some feedback because I hear it out in town that people do watch the program. So we really do appreciate you know y'all watching and participating and, and coming up to me and saying good things that we're doing to get the information out about what we're trying to accomplish in this great town we live in. So we'll move on for the uh, approval for the agenda for this evening. Motion to approve the agenda is presented. Second. We have, we have a motion and a second for the approval of the agenda. Uh, first by uh, Mr. Homer Spring and second by uh, Ms. Teresa. Vanderveer. Those in favor, please raise your right hand, please. Great, that's unanimous. Thank you. Review and approval of the minutes from the last meeting in August of two, uh, 12th, 2013. Any necessary uh, corrections, additions? Mr. Chairman, I move we approve right. the minutes as presented. So we have a motion by Mr. Spring and I need a second. Second. And we have a motion uh, by, a second by Mr. Keyes. All right, those in favor, please raise your hand, please. All right, thank you very much. All right, we have the City Council update by uh, Councilman Bob Warden. Good to see you here, this is, sir. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, just a couple of items. Uh, number one, uh, at the last, one of the last City Council meetings, we approved the, uh, the uh, uh, conditional use for the VA outpatient clinic on Henderson Drive extension and I'm sure if you've been by you've seen that they've already been clearing the lot and I've had several people ask me what was going in there and it was uh, I think we also chose uh, to accept y'all's recommendations on some of the buffering there between the two uses between Gold's Gym and and the clinic so that we would discourage some pedestrian uh, 